Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, we're gonna be walking through Meshi AI and I'm going to show you a full tutorial. So Meshi AI is one of the best, if not the best AI to 3D model generation tool. And after this video, you will be able to use this tool to the best of Meshi's abilities. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing we are going to do is obviously head over to Meshi.ai and the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is use their image to 3D tool. Now, to start you can sign in, create an account and you will get free regenerated or generation credits. And with those credits, it'll take 10 credits or sorry, 20 credits to generate depending on what Meshi preview you are using. Meshi 5 is only 10 credits. Meshi 6 is 20 credits. And I have a premium account, so I have a bunch of monthly credits that I get to spend. But every so often, I think it's every week or so, you get a few more credits to use on a free account. So nevertheless, if you have a free account or a paid account, it both works the same. So with their image generation thing, what we can do is come over here and let's do a model of a Illinois largemouth bass and let's do a PNG because we want it to have a white background so right there that looks like a good picture to me let's see let's find an actual good one the white background that looks good to me uh, that one you can actually see some scales avi f file we don't want one of those we just want a normal png web no There we go. There's a PNG image of a bass. Finally, okay, now we can come to our downloads and open up that file. And all we're gonna do is open it up here. It'll give us an AI generated name, bass leap. Okay, we'll turn symmetry on since it's a fish. And then we're gonna hit generate. And then what this will do, we'll create a task and we'll see it over here generating. Now once this gets to 100, we will have a fully generated model of this fish image. So let's wait for this to finish up and we'll check it out once it's done. Hey guys, before this model loads, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe because it really does help out smaller channels like mine. But now, back to the video. All right, this finished generating, so we can click on it right here. And then we can look at the model now. And you can see that it is pretty similar to our picture, but not what we wanted. So if it's not what we wanted, what we can do is click here and do a free retry. And then it will ask us to confirm and we can retry that and it would make the model but do something a little different to it to give us a different outcome so we can go ahead and wait for this to retry all right the retry just finished up and it looks like this i'd say it did a better job but it's still a little wonky um, so again it all has to do with how good of a picture you give it so if it's a head-on one like this it'll do a much better job and that saves as a JPEG so let's go ahead and try this one instead and hit generate and wait for that to load and show you another example alright guys that model finished generating and here it is and I'd say that is a pretty good rendition of this picture if not almost perfect 
So that is just a preview of just how powerful this tool it is. It does take some tweaking and it does have to do with how good your picture is. The higher quality pictures obviously will give you a better quality outcome AI generated 3D model. But with this being said, that is how you do this simple image to 3D generation. Next, what we can do with this 3D model though, say you're not gonna 3D print it um, and you actually want to have some kind of texture on it and some kind of um, color, what we can do is come down here and click texture and for 10 more coins, what it will do is texture this model. So we're gonna wait for it to queue up and finish uploading and then we can go ahead and check it out when it's done. All right, guys, that texture finished loading and here it is. So that is the texture it applied to the fish and the colors it gave it. So I'd say that is pretty good. If this is a fish you're going to be using in some kind of video in the background or a video game or whatever have you, this would do the trick, that's for sure. So that's how you use this 3D model to AI tool. And I guess the last thing you'd want to know is how do I download it? Well, you can click this download button right here and then click your file format. So this one I want as an STL and then I can click download right there and it will download right into my downloads folder. All right, guys, so another thing we can do with our 3D model is actually rig it. So it actually be easier to show you a rig of a person. So what I'm going to do is make a model of a action figure blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate this model. And once it generates, I'm gonna show you guys how to rig that model up. If you're using it for some kind of video or even in a video game as a background scene or something like that. But anyways, once this finishes generating and loading, I will show you how we can rig it up. All right, guys, that model finished generating and here it is. So I think it did a pretty good job besides the face. Anyways, let's go ahead and rig this model. So we can click, it's a humanoid. We can make it default just like that. The markers look basically perfect just like that. And then we'll confirm. And then as easy as that, our character is now rigged. So say if this was a 3D model of yourself, what you could do to this character is texture him and then you could rig him and then it would be a 3d model of yourself that you can now rig up and have do whatever you want so once this finishes loading we can then select a um, animation that we can have our 3d model do so let's wait for this to finish loading and there we go Whatever we add now, that's what it will have our model do. We'll just have to wait for it to load.
All right, and then it looks like once they load and get added, you can click right here and then they will change for you. So there you have it. That's how you can add animations and animate and rig your 3D models using Meshi AI. So you guys probably don't need a explanation how to do this if you're this far into this video, but what you can do is text to image as well and you can also do text to 3D. So you can just tell it to give me a 3D model of a scary zombie creature and then it will give you its own interpretation of what a scary zombie creature is and give you a 3d model of it so once that's finished generating we can go ahead and check it out all right, and there it is. One interpretation of a scary zombie creature and a, another interpretation of a scary zombie creature. And then of course with this, you can come here and hit texture and texture this scary zombie. All right, here it is textured. And then we can come to rig, humanoid, next. Confirm the joints. And then once that loads, we can go ahead and add whatever um, animation we want. And then our rigged character will do that. And again, if you wanted to download just this model as an STL file, you can come here, click download, file format, object, STL blend whatever you want and then this guy same thing if you want to download this animation you'd come here and download it in whatever file format you need for your animation settings so that is basically it that is all the tools Meshi has to offer so they do have 3D to video now and you can generate images or videos from 3D scenes, but that requires you to already have a 3D model. And this video is really just about using their AI 3D model generation tools. So anyways, if you want to come through their repository of models, you can just scroll through and see all the different kind of models that people have already generated and some of them already textured and um, remeshed and all that good stuff. So you can just scroll through and see the endless amount of textures that people have made and models they have prompted. So with that being said, that is how to use Meshi AI and all the tools in it. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something from this full tutorial of how to use Meshi AI and how to use all their 3D AI generation tools. This AI generation tool is very powerful and is awesome for anybody who has no 3D modeling experience but has an idea or wants to 3D model something but does not have the skills to do it. This tool is perfect for those people and some people are afraid of AI, but I say embrace it, learn it, because if you don't learn it, somebody else will, and they will have an advantage over you. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you could, like, comment, and subscribe, because it really does help out smaller channels like mine. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.